Kilo. A variable frequency oscillator VFO is an oscillator whose frequency can be tuned over a some range. It is a necessary component in any tunable radio transmitter or receiver and, con and controls the frequency to which the radio is tuned. This time I will show you how to make a VFO that covers the range from 100 kHz to 160 MHz and uses a minimum number of components. The selected frequency is displayed on a beautiful designed retro scale in the style of ham radios from the previous century. About two years ago, in one of my previous videos, I made a small shortwave radio receiver with this VFO, but the current version has additional function for changes, changing the tuning step, as well as storing the frequencies. These options drastically simplify the operation of the device. Otherwise, the device was originally designed by Japanese radio amateur JF3HZB, and the version that I present to you is modified by DJ700. I got the code from my friend Branko Jupan, on whose page you can find many projects and useful tips, especially in the field of radio technology. For this project, he has designed a custom PCB as well as add-on direct conversion receiver with the famous NE612 mixer integrated circuit. In the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. Also, you can get 10 PCBs for only $5. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. As I mentioned before, the device is extremely simple to make and contains only a few components. ESP32 development kit board, 1.8 inch TFT color display with 128 on 160 dots resolution with ST7735 chip. Uh, next, SI. 5351 programmable clock generator board, rotary encoder with push button, three buttons, and output connectors. Now let's see how the device works in reality. Immediately after switching on, the start frequency that is previously defined in the code appears on the screen. In our case that is 7 MHz. Turning the rotary encoder changes the frequency. The tuning step and thus the scale rotation speed is controlled by two buttons and ranges from 10 Hz to 1 megahertz. Now step is 1 kilohertz. 100 hertz and 10 hertz step. Ten kilohertz. A hundred kilohertz. and 1 MHz step. With the rotary encoder button, we memorize the current frequency and after the next power on the device, it will be the initial frequency. 7.7 .7 MHz, we can memorize that frequency. And next time, after turn on, it will be initial frequency. 7.7 .7 MHz. The oscillator also has the ability to memorize previously defined frequencies in the code, 
that we can call up with the main button. Now let's see how the generated signal looks like on the oscilloscope. For the first few megahertz the signal has an approximately rectangular shape. Then by increasing the frequency, the shape of the signal becomes a sinusoidal. At the highest frequencies, the shape is almost triangular and the amplitude of the, si of the signal decreases significantly. It is interesting to note that as a part of the code in the dialprm.h header file many parameters can be changed starting from the colors through the dial radius up to the definition of length and width of dial pointer, space between main and sub dial etc. In the following we can look at several visual modifications of the scale. I plan to use this VFO in the construction of very simple AM and SSB radio receivers, mostly direct conversion receivers, that I will present to you in some of the following videos. And finally, the whole device is embedded in a situable box made of PVC material with a thickness of 3 and 5 mm and coated with colored self-adhesive wallpaper. On the next few slides you can see a brief description of how the device is made.